we need to draw the final draft from this uh, sketch. A sketch enables you to have an uh, up understanding of the question and how and the frequent the, the, the flow the flow of a question. It is a lack of understanding of a question that you are unable to draw a good diagram. But when you understand the, the situation and the question, because some questions are not well elaborate, but it is out of uh, uh, making sense that you are able to know this step should come earlier, this step should come later, like that. Now this sketch, you can draw it this way now. You have uh, the box. Then you have, this should be a circle, not a zero. A circle means you can record something inside, but a zero is, is you can't record something inside. Then you have, uh, this is higher. Then you have uh, a favorable report and an unfavorable report. So this is a uh, favorable. This is favorable. So when you have favorable, you make a decision to either drill or not. If you are to drill, you will get oil or no oil. If you don't drill, then of course don't expect any. So this is now oil, this is no oil, and this is liquid drill. So that is going to be our diagram. Then from there, we have the un unfavorable. This is unfavorable. So this one will have also decision to make that you're going to have drill for oil with the outcome being oil or no oil. Then you have, you may not drill. This is not drill. Oil. This is no oil. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, the other side of not higher. We also have the decision to make here, decision, where we say we drill for oil. Is drill for oil. When you drill for oil, you get oil or no oil. This is oil, this is no oil. And if you don't drill for oil, then you don't make any profit there. So this is not drill. Then you can make sure that um, the end are the same position here. position so you can you can share the same column so this is a payoff so I've labeled my diagram then something else note is that um, when you're laboring uh, where we have decision remember after the decision node we are having a decision that decision alternative will be having its value either as a cost or as an income. For example, like you have been told, the cost of hiring or the cost of obtaining information is three million. So here we are going to get three million there. Here there is no cost for non-hire. 
favorite uh, this one where we have uh, a box drilling and not drilling these are also decisions which we need to make and uh, we have some cost for them like for example if you drill you're told you are going to incur 10 million so here we have 10 million here we have also 10 million for drilling here we have 10 million so in case we are drilling we are going to incur 10 million if you're not drilling there's no cost we're going to spend and that's all about um, the decision then something else is now about uh, the decision no the uh, event node where you have a circle after a circle we are having the outcomes which are actually state of nature and we require to indicate the year probabilities where you have a circle these are probabilistic in nature probabilities here probabilities here we do have such probabilities the only probability you're having at the moment which is clear is as per the chief engineer and from past uh, record from past information or from past uh, experience that we have we have the, the estimate of 0.2 as a probability of oil. So that if you drill and we, to get oil, we have 20% or 0.2 chance. And this is 0.8 chance. But we have not yet um, obtained information concerning the same. That's why I've recorded them under this uh, diag or this uh, uh, branch of not higher. Should we hire? and we obtain new information, we may end up changing our position. We may end up changing our estimates. And that uh, calls for what we call uh, revision of probabilities. And uh, what I gave here as the Bayer's theorem. So we are going to use now what we call probability tree diagram in uh, determining this revision of probabilities. So you can have this way. So this is a probability tree diagram where we'll indicate the way I had given you, we want the prior probability, we, have, we want the conditional probability, and we want the joint probabilities that now we are able to understand every aspect. Now prior is from our current experience and our estimate, our knowledge. We know that um, we may have oil or no oil with a probability of 0.2 and 0.8. That's why we starting point. So this is going to be prior that this probability of oil, which is 0.2, while probability of no oil, no oil, this is 0.8. That's what you have. Now, we were told in the question, the first hyphen that, that um, if there is really oil, remember this company, we have used it before. So we know how they can give us, or we can estimate how they can give us their feedback. Like uh, we, are, we, we are told there that uh, the company estimates that if there is really oil, this company can give us, or these consultants can give us a report which is favorable, 95%. So if there is oil here, if there is really oil, the probability of them giving us favorable report. This is now probability of favorable report as long as there is oil. We were told it is 0.95. That's what we were given. Is a, is, is a condition of probability. If there is oil here, then the favorable report will be 0.95. Meaning what? If there is still oil, there is a possibility of the consultants giving us unfavorable report, which is misleading in a way because there is oil but they are giving us a favorable report, meaning here. So you can have this one, and this one we can let it end at the end there. We say that this is probability of unfavorable report given there is oil. This must be the difference, which is 0 0.05. That gives us 100%. There is 95% of them giving us correct information when there is oil, and there is a 5% chance for them not, give, not giving us correct information. And um, we also told in the same question that um, if there is no oil, then there is a 10% chance of the report being favorable. So this is probability of favorable report giving us uh, 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 when there is no oil, which is true. As you can see, this branch is of no oil. It is 0.1. And therefore, if there is no oil, they can also give us the possibility of um, finding no oil, which is 0.9. So probability of unfavorable report given no oil, which is 0.9. 
this is the correct correct uh, position that if there is no oil we should get unfavorable reports if there is oil we should get a favorable report so these are just errors that they can, they can, there is a five percent chance of them giving us a bad report concerning the position there is also a, a 10 percent uh, chance of them giving us a bad report concerning uh, the position of no oil now as you can see these branches the way i've i've uh, grouped them the first branch the first branch here you can see there is a common thing the common thing is the report being favorable so what we do is that we come and put here this is f favorable the other ones they are common also you, uh, this is um unfavorable report unfavorable report therefore i can have them here as probability of unfavorable report but now they can end at the same point now we need to multiply now 0 0.2 times 0 0.95 as now joint probability so the two when you multiply you will get 0 0.19 yeah 0 0.19 is the answer to 0 0.20 0 0.95 then the other joint is 0 0.2 times 0 0.05 this should give us 0 0.01 in any case, it's even simple to know how to record this probability because it is this 20% that we are trying to group it into two parts. 95% of it and 5% of it. So you can see these two figures. They should give us 20%. This 20%. Then we come to 0 0.8 times 0 0.1. That is, will be 0 0.08. While 0 0.8 times 0 0.9, this will give us... Uh, 0 0.72 again it is this 80 percent that you are split into two 10 percent 90 percent so these two should give us 80 percent so that now once we are grouped that way we have now the chance and the opportunity of showing what you call the marginal probabilities down here so this is marginal marginal probabilities that now if you are to add the 19 and uh, the 8, you'll get 27. So 0 0.27, that's probability of favorable report. And this is 0, 1 and 73, you get 0 0.73. 0, 1 and, 0, 0, 1 and uh, 72, you get 73. Now this is giving us 1. But one to, thing to note is that we can see that uh, it is uh, giving us the total probability of favorable. Total probability of unfavorable. Now when you come back to our tree diagram, you realize that we would require this probability of favorable and probability of unfavorable. These two. You write that you require these two. Now you see that probability that favorable, there is no condition before it. And like this one, you see this one is oil, and this is also oil, but this oil is for the branch which is no, uh, is favorable. This oil is for the branch which is unfavorable. So that one is conditional. But the favorable and the unfavorable are not conditional at all. Therefore, we cannot pick this probability of favorable because this will be conditional. This is from the branch of oil. This 0 0.08 is also favorable, but from the branch of no oil. Those are conditional. So what we do is that we look at the total, total favorable, which is this one now, marginal. So this is 0 0.27, 0 0.73, we can record them here. So this is 0. 27 for the favorable now 0 0.73 for the unfavorable that's how we can record the favorable and unfavorable probabilities then when you come to this outcome which is oil or no oil it is clear that the first one here it is oil yes but given the report is favorable because we have another oil given the report is an favorable so what we do is we can have them here probability of oil given the report is favorable 